We're now inside the room now. Okay, we're going to please look out the window and see one of our 30 foot diameter pen stock pipe. It's one of the four that we have here. Each one of these pipes can carry up to about 88,000 gallons per second. Folks, whatever water you see sipping through those tunnel walls, we call that sea beach. We don't want to use the L word down here. We have about 250 gallons of seepage per minute all throughout the dam. It's a lot of water, but we do recycle that. Actually, goes back down to the river. Now, just to give you an idea of where we are. First of all, you started around this area, uh, visitor center theater level. Later on, after this, we're taking you to the balcony level. The bottoming of the power plant overlooking the generators there. Our power plant is in a U-shaped formation, sitting on the downstream of the dam. Arizona Wing has nine generators. Right now, we're somewhere around in this area. We're actually in one of the original diversion tunnels on the Nevada side in particular. Now normally you will feel some vibration underneath you coming from water flowing through that 30 foot diameter pen stop pipe. But right now folks, we our Nevada generators are under maintenance. We're under maintenance season for our Nevada generators. That's why you don't feel that, that vibration. Anyway, just a reminder folks that our main mission here is to provide water to the Western United States for irrigated agriculture. And not, and not power production. Power production is just a very special... N1, made in Nevada one, as one of the first of its kind installed in 1936. Each of these generators required 60 train cars just to bring their parts in. Took three years to manufacture, assemble, and install. But folks, by the end of 1937, when we only had four generators online, we were the largest power plant in the world. You're actually just looking at the top 30 feet of these generators. Because each of these generators is about 70 feet tall. You will see a large steel shaft in there. Now that shaft is connected to the turbine down below. The water that comes from Lake Mead enters the gate to the intake towers. Then flow through large pen stop pipes like the one you've seen a while ago. Then it goes down to 13 foot diameter pen stop pipes, increasing the water's velocity. Then down to the turbines. It spins the turbines, then spins the shaft, then spins the rotors. If you see that half a circle shape, rust colored generator that looks like it's glued down on the floor, that is called the Pelton Water Wheel Generator. We have two of them, one in each wing. We use this generator so we can operate the power plant and the dam. Folks, let me just direct your attention now to the floor that you're standing on. These floors are called terrazzo tile floors. Terrazzo tile is made by mixing marble chips and mortar and polishing them to an even surface. The design is usually inlaid on these floors derived from the Southwest American Indian tribes dating back centuries. The floors were designed and installed by the Martina family. They were an Italian family of builders who immigrated to the United States. We have about 121,000 square feet of these floors. And when we had them installed in 1937, it cost us about $59,000. <laughs> now, folks, so today we decided we want to replace these floors. It will cost us roughly eight million dollars. I guess we have no plans of replacing these floors anytime soon. Besides, these floors are still in pretty good shape considering the fact we've been taking tours down here since 1937 and about 44 million visitors have stood here on these floors where you're standing right now. Folks, we're going to go now to the exhibit level, so please follow me back to those elevators. Only thing I ask again, folks, please let me go first again. It always looks good when the guide is in the front. 